Hey, do you struggle to grow your players on FIFA Karim mode like this? Like this or even like this? If yes, you choose the perfect video. Hi, it's Karim Moderia and for today I've created a full guide for growing your players much more than the actual potential. First of all, you must know what the potential is. It is a novel that a player can reach during the career and there are two types of it. The actual potential and the dynamic potential. The first is the, is the potential that the player has the beginning of the first season. You can know how is this from the status in the market hub. The second is based on the actual potential, but during the career can downgrade or upgrade for many factors. In this video we will see some tips that, that can help to rise the dynamic potential. First tip. The dynamic potential is more influenced by the following factors player performance, team performance, playtime and contract. For the player and team performance, you have to make sure the player and the team are performing well. For the other two factors, make sure the player gets enough playtime according to his squad role and renew contracts to make the player happy. I suggest doing this every one or two years and don't wait for it to expire. Second tip. Revise every two or three months the development plan of all your players because to grow better and faster they should get the best plan. So make sure that the player doesn't, get, doesn't have the same one for an entire year or more. But pay attention to this. The quickest plan means that it will grow faster but the overall of a player is of little importance if he has very low attributes. Indeed I suggest training the player on his weaknesses too. Third tip, perform with an A or a B in all training sessions that appear most frequently because these develop the sharpness of a player which, in a certain way, helps to grow your, play your players. Remember that you don't have to do A again the same training every time because FIFA saves the best grade that you've reached. I suggest creating two starting 11, one with the, the best players and another with low rated players that you want to grow. I suggest alternating the two squads for the training session because uh, it trains the players that are in the starting 11. Fourth tip. If you can, don't sim the matches, it's much better if you play them. The reason for this is linked to the player and team performance that I've previously said. Fifth tip. Check if the player plays in his best position. If not, change it so we can get uh, an over upgrade. If you don't know which is his best position, uh, try this. Go to team management and pick the player. Then move him to every possible position where he may get an upgrade. And while you do this, check the small green number above the overall. If in one position he has a higher green number, it means he will receive an upgrade in that position. Sixth tip. Send your player out on loan to a team with a similar or slightly higher overall of your player and make sure they lack players in this position. Seventh tip. Age is a very important factor to consider because the younger the player is, the more time he has to grow. In addition, from a certain age, usually between 22 and 23 years old, the player starts growing slower. Eighth tip. Be patient, because it is more satisfying to grow a player than to buy the usually mainstream 99 rated. If a player has the growth stack, remember that this restarts well again at the beginning of a new season. I want to share with you two glitches to boost a player's growth. The long glitch consists of sending the player out on loan and when the transfer is confirmed, save the game. Reopen the save and recall the player from the loan. Then go into the squad hub and check if the player's value has increased and if it is, then it works perfectly, because the player could get an over or potential upgrade or both. If the player still has the same value, do the same step until he will increase it. The opposition glitch is about changing the position of a player to his opposite position, like right winger to left winger or left back to right back but do not confirm the change. This should help the player to grow faster. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Let me know in the comment section if you have other tips in mind.
Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. See you.